Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare professionals use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, and if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations, something you may have heard about or read about, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. We update both with news stories as well as blog posts. We've got some videos up at criticalhealthnews.com as well. Just did one on acne, did one on the triangle of disease a couple of weeks ago. We did one on the fourfold square of health. There's a whole bunch of videos up at criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to Jonty Collier for setting that up. Also pharmacistben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com, and also brightsideben.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can start yourself a business helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. 866-735-2470 is their number. And of course, if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you have hyperpigmentation, dark spots, if you're dealing with acne blemishes, wrinkles or you want to prevent the formation of wrinkles, please check out our retinol 5% gel. 5% folks, you're not going to find that anywhere. No preservatives, no fragrances, no oils, no silicon, no water, no fillers, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. That's why I came up with the truth and that's why I call it the truth because the truth is you don't need oil and you don't need silicon and you don't need preservatives and you don't need fragrances and you don't need 90 plus percent of the ingredients that are found in most baloney skin care products. And I know good and well, because I've been in the business for 30 years formulating skin care products. It's a scam, folks. You're paying for water, and you shouldn't have to do that. You're paying for wax. You shouldn't have to do that. And that's why I formulated the Truth, Truth Treatment products. You can check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. So if you're sick, you're not feeling as well as you know you could be, please, please, please understand it's in the body's nature to heal. This is so tragic. Our health challenges, our health crisis, where the vast majority, over 100 million Americans, one out of three, maybe even more, are dealing with an unnecessary chronic long-term degenerative disease. This is so unnecessary. It's so gratuitous. It's in the body's nature to heal. The body has the wisdom to repair our guts, to stabilize our sugar, to build our muscles and bones and skeletal system, to repair every cell. A cell repairs itself. Every system repairs itself. All we need is the willingness to provide the body with the raw materials to do its work, and then we got to give it the raw materials. We need willingness, and we need the raw materials. From a physical perspective, that's all we need. Food, strategic supplementation, and the willingness to employ them. But before we, before we can do this, before we can leverage this, we got to understand just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit about how this amazing thing called the human body, this miraculous, divinely created system that we call our bodies, how it's all put together. If we don't, we're going to be relegated to the useless, 
ignorant and, and borderline evil strategies. And I say that advisedly, borderline evil strategies of a medical model and the useful idiots who represent it and promote it. Yes, useful idiots that promote the medical model and you know who they are. We're gonna be stuck with these poisons, the uh, poison drugs, pharmaceuticals, and tragic surgical procedures that will change our statistics, change our numbers, lower this score, raise that score while do, doing zippo, nada, nothing to improve our health. That's because the medical model representatives are not trained to understand that disease is reversible. They're not trained to reverse disease. The medical model doesn't believe you can reverse disease. They think it's quackery to reverse disease. There's no money in reversal, so they don't get trained in reversing disease. Once a disease is reversed, you're not going to need the drugs anymore. You're not going to need the doctors anymore. That's why disease is managed. I'm doing air quotes here. Managed. That's why you're told by your doctor you're going to be in this drug for the rest of your life. What kind of doctor does this? What kind of medical professional says you're going to be in a drug for the rest of your life? How does he take money for this? To reduce your risks by 2%, 10%, 15%. And you think a drug company is going to sell you something so you don't need to buy their product anymore? What industry is going to survive by selling you something so you don't need them anymore? They can't do that. The problem is health is not a commodity. It shouldn't be part of an industry. There shouldn't be a health industry. When profits and business interests and industries supersede our health and the health of our children and the health of our loved ones and the health of our fathers and mothers and our health and well-being, then you got a problem. Then you got a healthcare business and then you got a creating customer business. You got to create customers in any business. And so instead of helping people get better so we don't need them, they create customers. That's why you're told you're going to be on your statin drug the rest of your life or your thyroid, uh, your synthroid the rest of your life or your antihypertensive the rest of your life. Well, folks, I don't believe that and I don't believe it because I have personally, with my own eyes, seen diseases reverse. With my own eyes, I've seen eczema eliminated. I've seen people get off their meds. I've seen diabetes disappear. Tell that to your endocrinologist. Diabetes can disappear without Genuvia. I've seen Graves' disease disappear. You've heard it on this program. You've heard people give testimony. They have no longer, no more Graves' disease. No more drugs. And they feel better than they ever did. The bright side philosophy, what we talk about here every day, five days a week for the last five years and longer in my presentations, this, what I call the bright side philosophy, it's based on the idea that the human being, the human body is a divinely structured system and your doctor has no business messing around with it except perhaps to give you some advice or some consultation. That's what a doctor should be doing, giving you some advice, not poisoning you. But unless we understand the basics, we're gonna understandably be so desperate to be fixed when we're sick. We're desperate, understandably so. I've been sick, you get desperate. And so then we do what we're told. We spent the last week or two talking about the ketogenic diet. This is the most powerful eating strategy anyone can use for your heart, for your brain, your nervous system, for fighting cancer, for weight loss, for overall strength if you're an athlete or if you're just a normal person. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carb diet and helps the body produce something called ketones, ketogenic, it, the genesis of ketones. Ketones are a power fuel that helps the body burn fat and produces way more energy for us than the so-called standard American diet, the SAD that most of us are subsisting on. When was the last time someone went to their cardi cardiologist, their heart doctor, and got a prescription for the ketogenic diet, or MCT oil, or coconut oil, or intermittent fasting, or caloric restriction? Never. When was the last time anyone went to their cardiologist and got a prescription for vitamin C, or the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or magnesium, or EFAs? Never. So we spent the last couple of days talking about bile, so darn important for the heart, for, for the digestive tract, for detox. Without a well-functioning bile system, you're not going to be able to absorb your nutrients, deficiencies will be likely, and detox is going to be hampered too. And that's a big issue, bile and detoxification. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back right after this. Don't go away. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can search both pages if you miss a program or you want to search a specific subject or if you want to direct one of your uh, clients or friends or family members to a specific subject. They're all up at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase Longevity products right off the websites. Also, my blogs, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And we'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. If you want to start a longevity business, if you want to help spread the word and promote good nutrition, and you want to make some money, and you want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. Also, if you want to check out our Truth Treatment products, make sure you go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Balm, all at truthtreatments.com. We also have a blog up, a skin health blog up there, and also my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. My, my personal Facebook page is all filled up, but if you go to The Truth With Ben, you can, uh, you can get our posts, which uh, I haven't done that, for, I haven't posted for a little bit, but we, we're going to start posting regularly at The Truth With Ben. Okay, got lines open for you. Try to call in early at 844-236-6010 if you have got questions about the longevity products or health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about bile. The bile system, so important and so underappreciated. Reading from the journal Nature Reviews Drug Discovery. This is from August 2008. Bile acids, that is bile, that's a, a technical term for bile. Bile acids are increasingly being appreciated as complex metabolic integrators. That means they're being appreciated for everything. Not just as lipid solubilizers, not just as dissolving fat. And, regular, and regulators of the digestive system. Where have you heard that before? As we've been talking about here. Bile is so important. It's not just for digestion. They're looking for drugs now to use bile, fake bile, for obesity, type 2 diabetes, blood fat issues, heart disease, atherosclerosis, as well as liver disease. You can add all inflammatory diseases to that because all inflammatory diseases are going to have some kind of digestive component. All diseases have some kind of inflammation behind them. This is a common denominator for all chronic long-term degenerative diseases. And what is inflammation? It's a defensive response. Reading here from the journal, or actually from the textbook, Chronic Inflammation. I love this textbook. I get a lot of information from textbooks. They tend to be, uh, not always, but they tend to be neutral. and They're not pushing any agenda. This is a textbook called Chronic Inflammation. Uh, molecular Pathophysiology and Nutritional Interventions. Reading here, inflammation is necessary for the removal or reduction of challenges. That means something is the body trying to get rid of something. It's trying to fix something. If you've got an inflammatory health issue, which is all of them, we should be asking, what is the body trying to get rid of? What is the body trying to fix? So bile, super important, of course, for the digestive system, but also for detoxification. If you have a messed up liver, you're not making enough bile, or somebody took your gallbladder out, detox is going to be hampered. When was the last time someone went to a GI specialist complaining of a gallbladder, a gallbladder issue or gallbladder pain or stones and got a prescription for digestive enzymes? Digestive enzymes with bile salts are one of the all-time great bile support nutritional supplements anybody could ever use. Not just if you have a gallbladder problem. For everybody. Using bile salts, which you'll find in your ultimate enzymes, is amazingly important for all of us, but especially if you're dealing with a bile issue or a liver issue or a gallbladder issue. Likewise, lecithin. Likewise, the amino acids taurine and glycine, both of which have a liquefying effect on our bile, help our bile flow better, keep our bile from being sludgy and sticky. So the most important role for bile, pretty much everybody listening to this program knows, is going to be for fat digestion. It's a detergent. It's a biochemical soap, a biochemical detergent that helps free up fatty acids and fatty vitamins and those all-important phytonutrients, carotenes, beta-carotene, and, and lutein, and zeaxanthine, and all the hundreds of different carotenes that are found in, in fruits and veggies. Likewise, the same with, uh, with the flavonoids. All the phytonutrients, are, they tend to be fatty. They're going to be released by the action of bile. 
If you have any, uh, any problems uh, with bile production, which is made in the liver, if you have fatty liver disease, that's one out of three of us, you're going to be susceptible to fat malabsorption. That means functional deficiencies in these phytonutrients. That means wrinkles. That means hyperpigmentation. That means all kinds of skin problems, thinning skin. That means connective tissue issues, including bone problems. All of this is from bile or bile deficiencies. You're going to have problems with your fatty vitamins, your essential fatty acids, with zinc, selenium. All of this is handled by bile. Gallstones are also going to be an issue if you have bile problems. Gallstones are a sign of sticky, sludgy bile. They're not a reason, unless you have some acute, terrible emergency, having gallstones is not a reason to have your gallbladder taken out. It's a reason to use lecithin and your ultimate enzymes and your glycine and taurine. And bile salts, you can take extra bile salts. And you can also use bile stimulating foods like bitter foods. Bitter foods tend to stimulate bile. At the beginning of your meals, you want to start your meals off with bitter foods. Arugula, dandelion, radishes, horseradish. These are all ways to stimulate bile. Bile is also important as a detoxifier. In fact, it's, I don't want to say it's more important as a detoxifier, but it's just as important as a detoxification substance. Food poisons are eliminated via bile. One of the reasons bile gets sludgy and sticky is because we eat the wrong foods. Gallstones are connected to eating the wrong foods. Bile becomes sticky and bile becomes sludgy. This should be such good news, you guys, because it's where we have control. It liberates us from the medical model. It frees us from the healthcare system, which doesn't care about us. Cleaning in the bile improves detoxification. Drugs, if you're on prescription drugs, please understand bile is one of the ways the body purifies itself from prescription drugs or non-prescription drugs for that matter. Likewise, heavy metals. Bile is one of the ways the body clears out mercury and lead. The thing about bile is it recycles itself. So yesterday we said how you eat a food, it goes in your stomach, stomach crunches it up, turns it into this soupy mass, and then it drops into the intestine. And as soon as it hits the intestine, it gets hit with a squirt of bile. Well, then after it hits, gets hit with a squirt of bile and all the fatty substances come out of the food, the bile goes back into the intestine and then it gets sucked up again and goes back into the liver and it does a big circle. Then it goes back into the intestine again and then it goes back into the liver and back into the intestine. It does a big circle. And as it's doing this big circle, it's clearing itself. It's cleaning out the intestine. It's doing a, 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 it's like, a, it's like an STP engine treatment. And what's supposed to happen anyway is some of that bile and that waste doesn't get recycled but actually goes through the large intestine and then gets eliminated out of the body. So you got bile going in two directions. One, it gets recirculated, and then some of it gets dumped out of the large intestine and then gets, and then gets eliminated. This is how the body clean, cleans itself out, cleans out heavy metals and food toxins and hormones, by the way. Old hormones get pure, uh, cleaned out via bile. Everybody, well, I don't know about everybody, but a lot of you folks listening probably know that estrogen can be a big problem. Estrogenic diseases or estrogenic issues are associated with diseases like uh, autoimmune problems, many autoimmune problems. This is why women are more susceptible to autoimmune problems. Well, one of the ways the bile eliminates estrogens that can be associated with these autoimmune problems, one of the ways the body eliminates that is through the bile. So keep your bile clean. Use your bile salts. Use lecithin and eliminate food toxins. And there's also a very important relationship. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, got lines open for you. Please check out my skin health product page, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're, you're the kind of person that wants to cut to the chase when it comes to everything in your life, you don't want any baloney, and many of our listeners are like that. That's probably why you're listening to this program. You want to cut to the chase. That's what we do on this program. No baloney. It's all just hardcore information. Hardcore information about how you can take care of your body. If you're the kind of person that just wants to cut to the chase when you're with your skincare products and you don't want water, you don't want fillers, you don't want preservatives, you don't want anything on your skin that your skin doesn't know what to do with or has to process or detoxify, and you don't want to spend money on things that you don't need, check out our Retinol 5% Gel True Serum Truth Balm and Omega-6 Healing Cream at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Just a couple more things I want to say about bile, and then we'll get your phone calls here, so hang tight if you're on hold. There's a very important relationship between bile and gut bacteria, good bacteria. From, um, this is from uh, the journal Neurology. 
antibiotics unrecognized cause of delirium. I love this. What does this tell you? It turns out that antibiotics, antibiotic toxicity they call it, represent, according to this article, an unrecognized cause of delirium in hospital patients with manifestations observed in various types. They give you three different types of delirium that are associated with antibiotic, uh, antibiotic therapy. Well, why is this? Why is it that antibiotics can cause mental health problems? Because they kill the good bacteria. This is the problem with antibiotics. And this is the problem with many of our lifestyle strategies. They lead to the death of the microbiome. And the microbiome is unbelievably important. Well, for, it's important for everything. If the digestive system is the heart or the core of, digestive, uh, of all diseases, if the digestive system is the core of all diseases, the microbiome, the bacteria that live in the gut, that's the core of the core. That's where it all begins. That's where it all goes, starts to go awry. Whether you're dealing with Alzheimer's disease or whether you're dealing with diabetes or whether you're dealing with thyroid problems, you're looking at an issue with the microbiome, the gut bacteria that can be resolved by eating fermented foods, by using probiotics, and by using fiber, as we'll talk about tomorrow. However, I wanna, the point I want to make right now is the gut bacteria control the bile. Where'd you hear that? Anybody ever tell you that? No. Nobody talks about that. The microbiome are related to, the, are related to bile. They produce various metabolites, various breakdown products from bile. They produce hormones. They actually now think that the gut bacteria in mass comprise an organ. A gland, I should say. A gland that makes hormones out of bile. You guys, this is so, so, so fundamental. If I haven't convinced you in the last half hour, in the last couple of days, to start on your ultimate enzymes and to start to support your bile system and to start use, using lecithin, whether or not you have a digestive problem, I don't know what else I could say. It's unbelievably important for all health issues. Bile acids themselves act like hormones, by the way. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Ohio and welcome Gretchen to The Bright Side. What's up, Gretchen? Hi, Ben. Good morning. Are you going to go out and vote in the primary out there in Ohio? Yes, in fact, as soon as I get done with you, I'm going out. What are they all I'm talking about? The, what are they all saying? About... Well, hang on. Hang on. Let's get a little political here. What are they all saying, Trump or Kasich? I don't know, but I'm for Kasich. Okay, all right. I, I, I've been hearing all kinds of mixed things. I, I've been listening to the radio this morning, Breitbart, right. and they're all talking about it. I don't, right. I'm not a Trump fan. Anyway, I'm talking about my 50-year-old son, Scott. He started paying tangerine, citrus peach drink around February 8th, mostly because I keep bugging him about it. And he brought a down. And he started with just taking two soups a day, but I also had him try the BTT pills. You know, to, uh, when he works and stuff, he could take the pills. So, is, he having, is he having a little loose stools or crampy or bloaty or something? No, no. He, okay. I, let me read what he emailed me just March 8th. He started okay. February 8th and this March 8th. He says, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to keep trying this unless you find a precedence for this aching. Every day it feels like I just got done playing hockey or hike 10 miles. It's getting really tough to motivate at times because it aches so bad. What, what aches? I'm sorry, Gretchen. What, his whole body aches? Are you saying it's associated with the BTT? Right. His whole body aches. And he said he's had those aches before, but then they go away. But now they're all day long. Well, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't I associate. Let me, let me finish it. Go I ahead. can't say sure it's the stuff I'm taking you gave me. But this started and has stayed consistent ever since I did start the activity. If it's part of a process, I'll try a little longer. But I can't believe it should last this long. And I just talked with him this past weekend. He ended up stopping it last week. He just couldn't take the aching anymore. And when he stopped it, the aching went away. Well, I, know, I there's no mechanism for that. There's no mechanism for that. So I wouldn't, you know, I can't say that... It, yeah, I'm not going to deny his experience. I never deny people's experience. If that's his experience, that's his experience. But as a chemist, I can tell you there's no mechanism for that. In other words, you could say every time the sun comes up, my, you know, my head hurts. So, so the sun coming up is associated with my head hurting. And I'm not going to deny that mechanism. Somebody swears that's true. There's just no mechanism for it. 
You know what I mean? There's no way right. that could happen. Now, if that's his experience, that's his experience. Stop taking the BTT. It's unfortunate because the stuff is loaded with such good nutrition. If he wants to try a couple things, uh, it's, not a, it's not part of a process, by the way. If he wants to try a couple things, why doesn't he, this is what I would do, I would pick out a couple important, uh, couple important nutrients, the B-complex, for example, and, the, uh, and vitamin C, and start taking some B-complex and vitamin C. Go to the health food store, get something called a B100 capsule, and uh, go get some vitamin C powder and take some vitamin C powder and some B-complex and see what happens. If he doesn't have any issues with it, then maybe throw in some electrolytes. And in other words, build up the same, uh, via nutritional supplementation, uh, try to build his own Beyond Tangy Tangerine, in effect, and see what happens. Okay. Okay, there's nothing really in the BTT except nutrients that's going to cause that problem. And it's unfortunate because it's such a complete package. The neat thing about the BTT is that you don't have to go to the health food store and get vitamin C and the B-complex and electrolytes and minerals. They're all in there. You still need other nutrients. It's not a complete 100%. It's not going to give you every single thing you need. But it's, got, it's so densely packed with nutrients, it's a shame that he can't use it. But what I would do if I were him is, is start to build his own uh, BTT by using, like I say, the BT, uh, B, B complex and vitamin C, which are probably the two most important nutrients in there, and then um, the minerals. He could even buy some, uh, some of the colloidal minerals from Longevity and throw those in and kind of, kind of put together his own version of BTT, if you will, and see what happens. Okay. Make sense? All right. Yeah. All right. It's a shame because it's so loaded with nutrients and it's like a one-stop shop, but, but he can build his own BTT. The nutrition, nutrition that's in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is just so stupendous. It would be unfortunate for him to miss out on those because of these, uh, his, uh, the symptoms that he's describing. Okay? Right. Thank, Thank you, Gretchen. You God bless you. Have a beautiful day. All right. Let's go to Florida and say hi to Denise. What's up, Denise? Welcome to The Bright Side. Hello, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I have a question around low blood sugar, and it's in relation to adrenal acne. Uh-oh, is my time up? <laughs> no, you can hang on. We get to, we'll come back from the break. Just real quick, adrenal acne and low blood sugar for you? Yes. Okay, the adrenal glands and, hy and hypoglycemia, there's an interesting connection there. So hang on, and I'll explain that to you when we come back from our break. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We're talking to Denise in Florida about uh, low blood sugar and acne. You there, Denise? Yes. Can I tell you what's going on? Please do. So um, I heard about the, if you've been down or if I pick something up off the floor and I see stars or have to take a moment, that could be related to low blood sugar. And yes. I started checking my glucose and it's always in like the 70s and 80s unless okay. I eat like a big cheeseburger or something. So okay. even after I eat a solid meal, um, a nutritional meal, it never really goes up. It stays there and I'm not sure if that's. Um, it's a sign with that your sugar. insulin is super sensitive and that could be a, a pre-diabetic condition. It also may ha might have something to do with your adre the dizziness uh, is usually usually has something to do with the adrenal glands. Uh, and you were talking something about adrenal acne before you we went to break. What, tell me about that a little bit. Um, the only reason I started looking into low blood sugar is because I I'm heard that it was associated with having adrenal dysfunction or adrenal acne as well. Well, they're so connected. Low, the sugar system is connected to the adrenals. It's our triangle of disease. The digestive system, the blood sugar system, and then the adrenal thyroid complex. So when you have dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar, it goes up and down or it stays really low or it spikes and then drops really low, that's always going to, be tr that's always going to trigger some kind of adrenal response. The adrenals are designed to keep your blood sugar, to give you a steady energy so that when your blood sugar drops, the adrenal glands kick in, you get some cortisol, and then your blood sugar goes up. Then your blood sugar goes down again, and then you get this adrenal surge or cortisol surge, and your blood sugar goes up. And you get this up and down thing happening, and that can put a burden on the adrenal glands, and that's where your dizziness is coming from. Now, what about the acne? Are you breaking out? Are you oily skin? Do you have oily skin? Yes. Uh, okay. Oily skin. Skin, but I've been trying the deep breathing techniques, which help. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I've also tried to take a little bit of protein at night, some sweet nice. potato. That should help um, you. Is that helping you sleep a little bit? Of it did. It, it did. It actually like knocked me out for a week, but then after that, it, I never had the effect again. So I was wondering, I don't know how to tell what my cortisol levels are. Tell me about, uh, can I ask you how old you are, Denise? I'm 25. 
Okay, and tell me, have, tell me about your breakouts. Are they uh, all over your face? Are they uh, uh, T-zone or describe they a little bit? They can show up almost anywhere, but they mainly show up on my cheeks and my jawline, so okay. my chin area. And are they related to your menstrual cycle at all? No, I do think it's food consumption and sugar. You got it, baby. You got it. You got a food problem. And it might have, and that might uh, that might be what's triggering your adrenal glands. Whenever you break out on the cheeks, you know your cheeks don't have a lot of oil glands. The sebaceous glands, or your, that's a technical name for your oil glands, they're located in the T zone. So you don't have a lot of T zone, a lot of sebaceous glands in the non T zone areas in the cheeks. So whenever you're breaking out in the cheeks, that is a sign that there's something going on with food. Make sense? Yeah. Most especially for gluten and flour, but it could also be dairy. It could also be uh, eggs, it could be peanuts, it could be uh, legumes of all kinds. Uh, there's no real n way to know except for uh, doing a food diary or, or eliminating the foods or eating a bunch of the foods. So you've got three, three options here. For First, you definitely want to check out the foods. This is where your triangle is coming in from. You're starting off with foods, then you go into the uh, uh, blood sugar problems, the dysglycemia, and then you go into your adrenal issues, and you're probably at risk for hypothyroidism as well. You're young, though, so you're not going to notice a lot of these things for a while. How's your weight, by the way? Stable. Lean? Are you lean? Mm -hmm. yes, You're lean. I'm Are you built lean, like tall and lean kind of thing, lean and mean? No, I'm 5'2 and 125 pounds. Okay. Well, you know what? Now's the time you want to you want to nip this in the bud because you're at risk for starting to gain a little weight here. It could be significant as you get older, uh, as your thyroid starts to slow down. So first things first, do a food diary. Start to track out your start to track your breakouts and connect them up with problem foods. Okay. If you don't want to do that, then eat a bunch of your favorite food and see what happens. It's usually going to be something that you're eating a lot of. Something your favorite foods. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you want to start to protect your digestive system with supplements, especially, and foods for that matter, uh, but supplementally, probiotics, good bacteria. Are you on one, a good probiotic supplement? Um, no. Get on one, Denise. No um. Get on one. Quick. As soon as you can. It's very, very important. That can make all the difference for you, by the way. I like the Biolumin. How bio many strands did it be? You want as many as you can get. Biolumin Nightly Essence has, I think, 15 or 14 strain, strains in it. So you want as many as you can get. You want, and sometimes with probiotics, you've got to mix them up a little bit. There's different formulas. I like the, the Biolumin Nightly Essence because it has enzymes in there. So uh, get on the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence and start using your ultimate enzymes after meals. If you've been listening to the program, you know we've been talking about bile. That can be very important for helping the gut bacteria too. Start using fermented foods. Eat as little as you need, as little, but only eat when you're hungry. Don't eat emotionally, mentally, socially, if you can avoid it. Just eat, eat what you absolutely have to eat, and then make sure you're doing a lot of fiber. Fiber is also important for the digestive tract, and it can help sweep out toxins. So make sure you're doing your fiber. Then you want to start to stabilize the blood sugar. If you're not on the sweeties, get on the sweeties. Is that you, or what is that noise there, Denise? Are you, what are you in wind tunnel there? Denise? Denise, Denise? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Are you there? Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, Denise, I'm just about okay, mine. okay. So let me just finish real quick because we're we're gonna run out of time. So uh, uh, continue on with the protein. If you could do whey protein, that's great. Whatever protein you can do, that will help stabilize your blood sugar. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and then use the Sweet Ease after meal. And then you're gonna start to focus on the adrenal glands. It sounds to me like you do have an adrenal problem. Oily skin always should be treated as an adrenal problem. You're way too young, by the way, to have that dizziness when you stand, when you bend down and stand up. That's you're way too young for that. Are you a coffee drinker? You drinking? You doing a lot of caffeine? No, I'm off the caffeine. Okay, good. So then the adrenal gland issue is really troubling. Uh, you definitely want to be addressing that because that's, that's a sign that something is really starting to tumble out of control. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day, is the most important mineral for the adrenal glands. Iodine is also important for the adrenal glands. Um, selenium can help too. So uh, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Go get yourself some iodorol and then make sure you're using your ultimate selenium. And then also for uh, vitamins, vitamin C is the most important vitamin for the adrenal glands. And vitamin C is just good for everything. If you're not sipping on the BTT, make sure you sip on it uh, slowly. And then vitamin B, all the B complex is going to be important for the adrenal glands. Vitamin B12 and vitamin B5, though, are especially 
important for the adrenal glands, B12 sublingually, and B5 is almost like a miracle for helping a dry up oily skin. It's also important for women's hormonal issues. It's important for helping the body make hormones, and it's also stupendously valuable for the adrenal glands, but you need a lot of vitamin B5, something like two to three grams of it a day. You'll need to go out of your way to get that. You're not gonna find that in any multiple vitamins or any formulations typically, so you gotta go get some vitamin B5, 500 milligram capsules, and take maybe three in the morning and three at night, or four in the morning and four at night, or divide it up so that you're getting two or three grams of it a day. And make sure you always take your B vitamins to get, uh, you take single B vitamins with all of the B vitamins. You wanna take them, at, uh, the, your single, single Bs with the entire complex. And then that's great on the deep breathing. That's one of the best things you can do for the adrenal glands. Anything you can do to relax the body is gonna help the adrenal glands as well. If you do everything I just told you, that should make a significant difference in your oily skin and your breakouts as well as your adrenal health issues. All right, Denise? Thank you. I appreciate you calling. Thank you so much. And, uh, and we don't have any more calls, so we'll just finish up real quick. I wanted to get to this letter. I've been meaning to talk about tinnitus. So I get lots of letters about tinnitus. Here's the deal, folks. Tinnitus is like every other health challenge, an inflammatory health condition. Now, if, you, if you're dealing with it, you know how miserable it can be to have this chronic ringing of the ears, and doctors are absolutely mystified and helpless, and there's nothing they can do to deal with it. But if you understand that it's an inflammatory health issue, it's inflammation in the inner ear, you will understand that you do the same thing you do for tinnitus that you do for any other health challenge. Number one, and this is so tr this is important for everything, folks, you backtrack to the triangle of disease. You focus on your foods, number one. That's that means food diary, that means eliminating problem foods, and that means using nutritional supplements for the digestive tract, chief of which are your probiotics, but also, as we've been talking, bile salts and your ultimate enzymes, and you can get extra bile salts as well. Apple cider vinegar helps activate the enzymes and will help you digest your food too. You can use coconut oil too for the digestive system. We haven't talked about that, but coconut oil also can help with the, with the digestive system. Fiber is also very important, of course, using fermented foods as well. And then stabilize the blood sugar. Always, always, always go to your second point on the triangle of disease for all inflammatory conditions, including tonight stabilize the blood sugar using nutritional supplements, the, Beyond, the um, Sweeties as well as the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the B-complex, magnesium, the amino acids taurine and glycine also can be helpful for making bile as well as helping stabilize blood sugar and then relax the body. Make sure you're doing your deep breathing techniques, massage, Reiki, hot tubs, hot baths. You know what? A great way to relax the body is to listen to your heartbeat or to listen to any of your any of the sounds that your body makes, the sound of your breathing. Just listening to the rhythm of your breathing can relax the body, activate the relaxation nervous system, and help calm down the adrenal glands. There's so many wonderful health strategies that we can use without doctors, without the medical model, without prescription drugs, and that's the good news, folks. That's why we call this program The Bright Side. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and our all the longevity products on our blog, criticalhealthnews.com, as well as pharmacistben.com, also brightsideben.com, and benfuchsarchives.com. Have yourselves an awesome, spectacular day, folks.